With everyone cutting MDF doors on their CNC nowadays, I'm getting this question a lot. Can Cabinet Vision make sharp corners on one-piece doors or even 3D tool paths on the corners? Because you don't want to start making MDF doors and have these cheap, rounded looking corners. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in Cabinet Vision. So I have a cabinet here with three doors. So the first one is a bevel, the second one is a cove, and the third one is a round over. You can probably see it a little bit better right side here. You can see my bevel first. You can see the cove profile here, and you can see the round over bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and show you how I set up those tool sets. Obviously, you can do variations of these, but these are kind of the three main shapes that you're gonna get into when you're doing routed doors. Okay, so first we're gonna deal with our bevel. So I'm gonna go into tools and go to my tool set, and I have a pocketing bit, I have an eighth inch to clean up the corner, and then I have a 90 degree V bit set to engrave. Now it's very important that you don't do a roughing pass, otherwise it will round the corner and not like, because it needs to kind of slant up the corner to make it totally sharp. So it's very important that you put it on engrave. So let's go preview this. Okay, so let's look at the bevel. I'm gonna set it to operation by operation and I'm gonna skip the first two passes. And then let's slow the bit way down Let's watch what it does as it comes into the corner. It'll be a normal roughing pass, but as it comes into the corner, you'll see it lift up and follow the path out the corner. So let's speed it up just a little bit. And there you see it. And that's what makes that perfectly sharp corner. And we can skip to the end. And there's our completed door with perfectly square corners. Okay, so that's all for the bevel. The one thing you need to know is use the engraving pass on your V bit instead of a roughing pass. Okay, next we have our cove bit. Let's go look at the tool set. And this is has a pocket bit and then a half inch bit and then my panel cutter. So like on a raised panel, this could definitely work for that. And notice this is just a roughing pass, nothing special here. But this is not going to use the engrave function. Grave is only for V-bits. This is going to use the profile. And think of profile as like the 3D toolpath option. So if you have like a, an arc, so whether it's a cove or a roundover, you'll have to use like a ball nose bit in order to get a nice clean thing. And Cabinet Vision can actually generate those 3D toolpaths for you. It's a little bit tricky to get it firing the first time, but once it does, you're... so as long as you have your profile in the tool set, set to a roughing pass, and then you add your eighth inch ball nose or whatever size you have and set it to a profile, it has to be immediately after your profile shape. And then the eighth inch ball nose will follow the shape of your tool set. So it's very critical you shape it correctly. And then you have some maximum depth per cut and maximum air just to help you kind of fine tune how many passes it creates. And you actually don't even need to set the offset or the depth because again, it's just gonna follow the shape of the tool that's right before it. So let's go see how this works. We got our cove bit. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna skip the panel cut. Okay, so there went my profile cutter, right? And here's these rounded corners that nobody likes. You would hate to send a door out like that. So let's slow it down. And now my eighth inch ball nose is gonna come in. Cabinet Vision is going to create these 3D tool paths based on what kind of ball nose you have. It's going to make this nice, clean, sharpened corner. And that is going to be a much better looking door right off the CNC. So if we just skip ahead, there's our finished door with a total cove profile sharpened to a corner. And so you can see how my max depth per pass is decently large here, but you could just tweak those numbers to make more passes or less passes depending on what you want. Okay, let's do our last example, which is going to be a roundover bit. So let's go look at this one. Okay, now this one is going to be very similar to the cove. Again, it's not going to use the engraving thing. Any shaped cutter, you will use this profile option with the eighth inch ball nose. I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can see I don't have any positioning set. It just knows to follow the shape of this cutter. Let's go look at this one. Okay, we'll skip through the pocket. It will run the profile pass. And again, you see those 
ugly rounded corners. Let's slow it a bit down. And let's let him go to work. So again, it's just following the shape of the profile cutter and it will just go right around there and shaping that depending on whatever the diameter of your ball nose bit is. Beautiful. Much, much more like what we would expect from a five-piece door. And we can get those same or very similar results on a CNC routed door. If someone's telling you that Catnavision can't do MDF doors, there's your proof that that is not the case. So hopefully that clears up some questions that you guys might have been having if you're thinking about getting into MDF doors.